I'm joined here now by Paul Cannon. Uh, exciting news, Paul. You're due to release your debut single, Dream, on the 29th of August. Can you tell us a bit about the song? Well, the song Dream, I wrote it at a, a point where I was feeling very positive. Um, I'd been working quite hard uh, in my in my normal job, um, and some some of the hard work was paying off. And so I was feeling really pleased about that because it, it's um, I mean it's like everything in life, isn't it? You work really hard at things, and some things go really well, some things don't. Yet you still worked at them, and everything was seeming to go the way that I wanted. So I was feeling really positive. And sort of the attitude I had when I was writing the lyrics was um, if you work hard at something, you'll get there in the end. It might be tough, but keep going, keep going. Um, and basically, if you sit on your backside, you're not going to get anywhere. And, uh, you know, there's so many people that, um, that, that take that attitude. They, they you know, then they're not going to work for it. So they're not going to get there. And I was thinking, well, I want this to be a statement so to everybody. Look, come on, pull your finger out and you'll do really well. Can you tell us a bit about Paul Cannon, the man? What's your background? How did you get into music? Well, I mean, I started life as a DJ uh, in the sort of early 90s. Um, I was at university and I was a mobile DJ in the evenings and uh, really enjoyed that to start off. Um, and then after a while it became a bit tiring because it sounds very exciting, doesn't it? Oh, I'm a DJ. I get to pull all the girls and all that. But, um, but in, in retrospect, I was carrying around heavy equipment every Saturday night. My friends were going out and having a wonderful time and I was working and I, I just felt that I felt I was a pretty good DJ but I felt I was playing the same records that everyone else was playing every week it was the same thing so I tried to do something a bit different with it so I would um, start playing around with records I was quite good at mixing so I'd mix play them around and then um, I would start disassembling records at home on, on my computer I'd, take the uh, beat off of one record and I'd take a vocal off another one and I'd splice them together and make something a little bit more interesting that I could play when I was out and about and most people seem to like that some people not so keen so, oh can you play the original record please uh, so but yeah so to so really make my own tracks actually although I didn't think of it like that at the time and you've uh, been a teacher as well oh yeah for, for, for far too long yes so, so yeah, yeah, I was a teacher. That that was sort of my ultimate goal, really. The music was only really sort of uh, a hobby, just an interest. And, and and then I got to the point really where I thought I really should have stayed with the music. I was really on something good there. Um, I hope it's not too late. And 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 obviously it wasn't. So um, so yeah. So I I started uh, spending more time writing. As I set up a business, gave myself a little bit more time, and. Um, and, and hopefully that's how I've got to where I am now and, and you know, hopefully there's, there's a big future in the music as well. Paul, what's your dream for the single? <sighs> it's going to go to number one, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I just like it, like, all musicians say this, but I just want people to hear it and, and if, if one person really, really likes it, then I'll be delighted. But I'm hoping quite a lot of people like it. OK, finally then, tell us when the single's out and where everyone can go and get it from. Uh, singles out on Monday, the 29th of August, and it's available on iTunes, Amazon, uh, MySpace, or anywhere you, you can buy music online, really.